and we finally get to see Super Saiyan 3 out with Goku. That doesn't look like it was drawn by a child using their ass cheeks, but also seeing that like out of everything and all that, Trunks from the future has finally been able to attain that Super Saiyan 2 transformation. Now, it was good to see though, there was a lot of catching up we had to do with like Dragon Ball Super in this week. Since basically, he, like, Trunks woke up panicking the fuck out, saying, oh god, oh god, you know, Black Goku's rear, and pretty much getting an entire, like, breakdown of what exactly happened. It's just like out of the, nowhere that this Black Goku appeared, and everyone thought, well, what, what happened is, got me Margin Boo, right? And it's like, Funny enough, uh, in that timeline, when it comes like the Boo Saga never really happened, more like Bobbity and Deborah came down, and Trunks alone with Super Saiyan 2 was enough to take down both Deborah and also the Squirt Bobbity. So, like, Boo was never released on that planet. Like, it was, like, kind of interesting that it never happened. Maybe, I guess, is that, like, a, like a kind of response to, like, because I know a lot of people don't like the Boo Saga. I think it would have been interesting if, like, Trunks had to do that. But then again, like, if you think about it, like, Goku, Super Saiyan 3, when he first went against Majin Buu, couldn't do jack shit like that on the limited time that he had, and it's like, I highly doubt that Trunks could do something about him, but, like, him being able to go Super Saiyan 2, actually being able to beat Deborah and Baba it's just a little, little, little bit weird to me, like, having certain situations like that, and he just shit himself when he was like, oh god, there are gods now in this universe, like, what the hell have you guys been dealing with after all this time, like, going through this, and it's just like, Honestly, like, I get, like, with the whole time thing, because, like, time is just so weird. It's like, oh, here's young trunks, and here's old trunks. Oh, I, like, it's just like, yeah, me as a baby, you didn't know anything about that, because that, that was the kind of sense about it. It's like, oh, they're never going to meet again. But it's like, having this, is like, this just fucks you up. I guess, like, in a way, trunks gets to see how powerful and, like, how strong that he can get in the future. I mean, the fact that it was, like, going Super Saiyan 2 and he was having a fight with Goku, a little sparring match, it's just, like, you know, you get to see where, like, exactly he comes from and, like, max power of Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. It's just, like, it's a fucking joke compared to, like, what Goku... Like, Goku's going Super Saiyan 3 using two fingers to block him, and it's just, like, that's all. And it was, like, that moment when he saw, like, Baby Mai, like, like just there, he's, like, looked like he kind of got a little bit upset there, like, just saying, you know... This is like the future, you know, like like all the people that I had here and lost. And it's like when we got to see with Bulma, Bulma like she went to go and find some notes to this thing about the time machine. Luckily, future Bulma actually left the forum and kind of gave the description and like the energy and everything that they need to do for the time machine. And one interesting thing with Black Goku is that he's able, he's got a time ring. So, th so what is he? Is like, is he a Kai of time? I know that's something that was like Xenoverse explored. It's like we had a Kai of time, and it's like. Is that, like, what Goku fused with? That's, like, because, obviously, like, it's that consciousness that's there. And with Killian, he keeps seeing this sort of Kai right next to him, where it's, like, you know, oh, he's got, like, kind of green skin. He's got one of the earrings as well. So that's what I'm guessing is that, like, from what it looks like, it, he's, like, able to use, like, just time like, easily. Since, like, with how it, like, is able to describe that, you know, human beings, like, are not supposed to use time. Like, you know, they're not supposed to use, like, go into the past, the future, and all that. Manipulating time is a serious crime, even with, like, gods and everything. We have to be very lenient with, like, how we use it. And I'm th I was thinking, they know, wait a minute, Weiss, like, didn't you use fucking, like, time powers? Like, you, didn't you go back in time and all that to save Earth? So, like, you're giving some of that shit like that? So, I guess, like, there are only a few, like, exceptions that you're allowed to use, and I'm pretty sure, like, the, the, the fucking key, like, everything is probably going to either massive bollocking either way if you try and do that. Because, like, if everyone could use their time powers, then how much stuff would you change, you know? Like, think about it. Like, everyone was allowed to use time, like, you know, manipulate in any way that's like, yo, we could have all the Saiyans back or something like that, or we could have like this crazy stuff happening, but right at the end of the episode, we do get to see Black Goku confronting everyone, right at the end so we do get to see in the preview that we are going to be having a fight with him, and yeah, it doesn't seem like uh, Goku's going to be having a good time, and yet again, Goku always doing the same thing that he always fucking does always never takes an opponent seriously and just going into his early forms doesn't go straight into like you know Super Saiyan God 2 or anything like that or the blue four like none of that stuff or the Kai Ken so was you gonna see like how the fuck they're gonna have to like get rid of him because it looks like from what the sounds of it is that if Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Trunks at this point is so strong that it's causing storms and it's breaking apart and they had to make a barrier then if these two fight, then by that logical sense, like, I know it's Dragon Ball, but it's like, then these guys are literally going to crack the earth if there's two Gokus fighting around. We'll have to see more about it, but it's like, I think, like, you know, so far, this has been good. Like, I'm honestly surprised that Super Saiyan 3 this time 
looked fucking actually animated well. Like, it, it wasn't, like, still impressive. I mean, like, it's still rough, and I still think the best, like, looking we, we had was probably, like, the, the first episode of this arc. But even still, it's like, you know, we've got some very interesting things that, you know, we've got more information now about, like, exactly, like, like if he's got a time power, like, exactly, if he's got, like, the ring of time, then I think that, especially that that goes to show that maybe this, like, the Kai that fused with them or a god is got to be something of that, like, nature. And I'm guessing that this is either a Kai, like, like a Kai of time or a god of time. Like, that's honestly where it's got to be, like, this is the only thing that can happen. And just on that, there was a few little funny moments here and there like that. Like, well, when you go see, like, Trunks, like, getting on his knees to, like, Beerus, and he's just like, oh, yeah, please forgive me and all that. And it's like, oh, can you let this one slide with the time powers and shit like that? It's like, oh, give us something tasty. And he's just gonna, like, fucking little fish sausages. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's so, it was, it was dumb and goofy at that part, but... I mean, so far, out of all the arcs, this has got me the more interested, in, and so far, it's slightly okay animation-wise like that. It's not bad, but regardless of what, I'm still very curious about exactly where this is going to be going down with this arc. So, I'm looking for. I'm still curi like, curious and all that, but I'm not like, oh my god, this arc's fucking amazing like that. So, we'll have to wait and see what's going on. On that, I will do think this is a good episode. I do think that, you know, it's nice to see that we did see the growth of Trunks and that he actually able to overcome, like, the whole boo, like, dilemma just by himself. I think that's actually kind of interesting that he did that. But we'll have to wait and see what's going to be happening. But that's all for me. Thank you much for watching as always. And if you enjoy Dragon Ball Super, most of the time, as much as I do, then they uh, you know to hit that like and subscribe. But that's all for me. Thank you much for watching as always. I give this episode seven, a solid 7.5 to an 8. I thought it was a good, nice way to set up for the Black Goku stuff. But that's all for me. So I'll see you guys, though, next time.